on the road bright and early this morning, heading up to northern Taiwan to Pinglin, Taipei, to source our winter batch of Wenshan Baozhong. Uh, Wenshan Baozhong is perhaps the most historical Taiwan tea of all. It began being exported in the late 1800s and uh, has continued to survive and thrive. Popular tea pretty much exclusively made in the Taipei area. Still, 150 years going strong. Let's go check it out. Wenzhan Baozhong, winter 2021, on its way south. <laughs> I have spring on my left and winter on my right. I went ahead and uh, Decided to brew just like we do in the factories when tasting uh, batches of tea. Uh, there's typically at least a few days of harvest uh, to choose from, if not many. And uh, what the tea makers and tea merchants like to do to assess the tea uh, as quickly and comprehensively as possible is simply put some leaves in a tea judging bowl and fill it up with boiling water and uh, watch it brew until it's cool enough to drink. And while it's brewing, you, uh, what is typically done is to dip the spoon in the brewing tea and get a sense of the aromatic profile. It's actually the time, uh, as the leaves are brewing, is the time when the aromatic oils are most volatile and uh, most evaporating, while the water is still quite hot. Interesting. Um, so, when San Baozhong is a f uh, minimally oxidized oolong tea, oolong meaning partially oxidized, and um, is volatile compared to roasted teas or heavily oxidized teas, meaning that it will um, fade in its, uh, in, particularly in its aromatic profile. However, it, ne it continues to amaze me how well this particular type of tea maintains uh, its aromatic profile. Still quite pleasant though, the spring tea. It's not what it was in the springtime, but it's still uh, very nice. Yeah, there's just a, an added, there's more of a pronounced Baozhong uh, character present in the aromatic profile of the winter batch, which was picked uh, less than a month ago, uh, really two weeks ago or so. The leaves need to be de-stemmed and then they need to be roasted at very low temperatures like 70 degrees Celsius for uh, a, a few hours basically to remove any remaining moisture in the leaves. But given that uh, the, the magic about Baozhong tea is that it's partially oxidized, it's very similar uh, for the f initial stages of tea making as high mountain oolong tea, but the most uh, obvious and distinctive difference is that the leaves are not rolled after they are primarily processed. So after they go through their tumble heating, cease oxidation, uh, they're, di they're just slightly rolled in the half moon roller and then uh, proceed with their drying process. And that maintains an integrity in the leaves that I believe is the reason why Baozhong can maintain its freshness even uh, better than high mountain oolong tea. There's just the cellular structure is still there, so to speak, uh, as opposed to the leaves getting really compressed and tightly rolled. So um, I did, did I mention this already? I did 3.5 grams of uh, leaves uh, in these bowls that are approximately 150 milliliters and uh, just filled them up with boiling water and uh, in a few minutes, we will uh, taste it.
The winter weather did get a little bit cold. Uh, we got some cool weather toward the end of the growing season, which provides a different constitution in the leaf. And that's uh, what I personally look forward to with winter harvest, something that is distinctly different from spring. It's not really that interesting to have a winter that's similar to spring uh, in terms of the flavor profile. Uh, we can get that from summer harvest or even fall. In this case with Baozhong, uh, they don't make Baozhong tea from their summer or fall harvest. They typically make a type of um, black tea. Okay, so the leaves are looking quite similar. Um, there, there is a sense of a brighter green in the, uh, the winter leaves, and that probably has to do with the, uh, something called post-oxidation. The leaves continue to transform after they're completely dried, particularly with curled leaf tea, more so than uh, tightly rolled tea. So there's a sense of a brighter, uh, fresher green appearance to the brewed winter leaves. I'm going to have one more smell. Yeah, the aromatic profile is there, but it's, it's just um, not as pronounced. It's not as vibrant as it was several months ago. The brewed tea on the winter uh, is also brighter. It's just got it's pretty much the same color. It just has more luminescence to it. I'm getting a herbal vegetal quality. Some sweetness. I don't know, whenever there's a sweet factor in there, it so easily kind of moves toward floral, but it doesn't really smell like flowers to me. Um, what was I just thinking about? Uh, oh, um, in terms of the, this particular batch that I chose, um, there were, so in spring, there were 10 days of harvest to choose from. And literally, uh, in, uh, when I just went up uh, several days ago, there were five bowls to taste from and there were minimal amounts of those. So uh, my friend had saved some tea that he initially planned to enter into competition, but there was one other batch that came the day after he was preparing this batch for competition that he thought was a little bit closer uh, to the mark of the quality standard of the competition. So he went with a different batch, but he had intended to enter um, a little bit more than half of the amount that we got was going to be used for competition. In order to uh, have enough to last us until spring, we combined that uh, potential competition tea with a batch that he had just finished dry roasting. It just brought it back home from the destemming uh, uh, facility that morning and roasted it for a couple of hours, and he hadn't even tasted it yet. And uh, it was quite similar to the initial batch that he had reserved for us, uh, or at least wanted to offer us. There were other batches we could choose from. He kind of knew what we were looking for. Um, so we combined uh, about 60% of the competition tea with 40% of the batch that had just been dry roasted. I'm going to go with winter first because this is uh, all new to me. This is the first time I'm tasting it in my home. Fresh vegetal, a lot of nose, herbal kind of um, notes in the nose, dry, uh, kind of crisp finish, very, um, a lot of uh, nose in the, in the finish. It's just like, wow, my head is filled with some sort of herbal essence. Uh, not, not super... Um, yeah, I would just say it's something like a fresh garden herb uh, aspect. I, I think the, the aromatic profile of the winter tea is definitely more pronounced herbal than floral. Okay, yeah, it's, uh, it, while it had some uh, of the aromatic profile left, 
the flavor profile of spring. While it is nice, it's just not even close to the pronounced notes of the freshly harvested tea. Very smooth and balanced, more, definitely more balanced than the winter, which kind of makes sense. It rested for six months, right? So uh, that's something that, you know, can be appreciated about a tea with this type of processing method and this type of character is that, yeah, it might change, but uh, it's not really all lost. There, are, there is some gain to the transformation of leaves. And Baozhong is uh, used for aged tea. In fact, it's one of the most prized and sought after types of aged tea. And that also has to do with the curled leaf compared to the rolled leaf. There's more uh, even exposure of the surface of the leaf, so it can, uh, it can transform more evenly throughout the leaf as it ages. So when you keep it for 20 years, that post-oxidation turns into something very obvious, and it becomes something completely different. But starting from six months, you can observe and appreciate the transformation of the compounds in the leaf as they age. Okay, I'm most interested in trying the new one. <laughs> nice, bright, uh, greenish yellow. Something almost spicy herbal. I always kind of fall back on arugula because it's pronounced in that way. But perhaps something more aromatic like thyme or uh, marjoram. A very nice uh, herbal bouquet, I'm going to call it. So there we have it. Uh, spring compared to winter. It's always nice to just if uh, to try seasons, even though you have to take into the factor that the previous season has aged to an extent. That's a that's an observation to appreciate in itself. So our winter uh, crop of Wunsan Baozhong tea is now on the shelf, we are excited to say. Um, you can go to ecocha.com, go to unroasted oolongs, and you will find Wunshan Baozhong at the top of the page. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you next season.